clear everything out of my closet take everything out of here i also have to do my um room closet as well i do got all these dishes in my kitchen i see but yeah i do got all them dishes in my kitchen that i don't i think i'm not gonna yeah i'm not gonna have i'm just throw all those away and just renew all my dishes i'm just getting new everything Nothing's coming with me but my clothes and shoes, so everything else is just getting thrown away. And my mattress, but as far as my bed frame and stuff like that, all of that is getting thrown away. I'm, I just want, I want new everything. So, I really don't know where to sit y'all so y'all can see me do this. But yeah. Get my hair. Get your hair. I get your hair. I get your hair. Damn, all these shoes. Any? Wow. Okay. So, what I'm about to do? It's like put all my shoes in one section that way um, so yeah what I'm about to do is put my shoes in one section that way when I do get my boxes everything is in its own pile so the shoes in its own pile hats in its own pile clothes in its own pile I'm gonna fold all my clothes and just put them back on um, boxes that way when the boxes do get here I can just put stuff straight in there instead of like you know what I'm saying so I'm just get everything together as far as that and then we'll, until I get my boxes. Um, I think I'm about to clear everything out of that bathroom as well as far as like the um, to toiletries and all of that. Feminine hygiene stuff. So y'all got some boxes. I'm about to now pack. This is just the only. This is it. Like, this is all I have to pack. That's it. And then a few. Well, okay. So I also have to pack this stuff as well, which is just clothes. So all I'm gonna be doing, not all day, but all I'm gonna be doing for the most of the day is just folding stuff up and putting it in the box. Um, I believe it's ten boxes. Three. Yeah, it's 10 of these. So, I'm about to pack in my room first. And then, I'm going to pack in here. Just a lot of stuff. It's, not, it's, a, it's not that much. I feel like it's going to go by quicker than what I think. So, yeah. We got to get this started, though. My hair, I'm sorry to take this out. But, let's get this started, though.
Yeah, so that was all those clothes that was in that basket. And that's how it looked. It's not even all the way filled up. But yeah, I got 10 more boxes. So those 10, well, not 10 more, but I got 9 more boxes. And that should be definitely more than enough. Um, the room is looking pretty much empty. All I need is to take that dresser out. I'm not keeping that. I'm not keeping my bed frame. I'm just going to keep the bed. Keeping the TV. And yeah, I just need somebody to help me throw that stuff out. Because, yeah. Throw that out. Y'all, I don't have a lot of, like, family members that's, like, males who I could just, like, call and be like, oh, can you come do this real quick? Wait. Okay, but yeah. I can't really do that, so it just be, it kind of be hard when it comes to moving. But this is my first time moving. Like, this is my first apartment. But yeah. So. Oh, yeah, but I'm going to tell y'all and catch y'all up. So this is about to be a little talk. So. Yeah, get y'all popcorn. If y'all don't want to hear me talk, y'all could skip. But don't, don't skip, y'all. Don't skip. If y'all already love me, y'all to watch every part of the video, okay? <gasps> no. Anyway. Um, but yeah, your girl is moving. I clearly got accepted to the apartment. I got accepted to two, actually. And it's just like, you know, hearing that you're, you got approved, like, that's cute. I like that or whatever. No, but yeah, I had got approved for the first apartment, and I got approved once again for the second apartment, which the second apartment is the one that I'm going to go with. Um, yeah. So, period. I'm excited, but the thing is, y'all, like, my plan is to just really stay here, like, to really, like, hustle like I never hustled before like this is I'm really going to be grinding when it comes to this YouTube stuff because I'm ready to see a change as far as, as money like success I'm just ready to see all of that so that I can move because I don't want to live in Cleveland I do not want to stay in Cleveland forever like I really my plan is to move away in the next year and if, at, at the latest at the latest I say a year and a few months but I'm going I'm shoot I'm aiming for that year me and my sister, we want to move. And baby, whoever coming, what is coming? Who ain't coming? Whoever ain't coming, what is ain't coming? Because I can't do it here no more. I don't like Cleveland. And yeah, it's nothing here for me. Um, yeah, so I'm about to really grind my saw and skedaddle, okay? Because I can't deal with it. Can't deal with the people that's in this city, and I can't deal with the city itself. So yeah and i feel like it's just way more opportunities for me i feel like i'm playing with my potential like i really um i have and a lot of people be telling me that like dude you should be living in miami somewhere like you should not be here you need to leave you don't have no kids you pretty as heck you know how to say you know what i'm saying they be like oh you got big things like you know what i'm saying like i get what y'all saying and trust me i be thinking the same thing like why am i still here that's exactly what I be thinking. Like, why am I still here? And life, it only moves fast as hell. So it's like, just sitting up. This year, I'm doing something about that. Like, this year, I just, I'm having the best time in my life. Spending this one year here. And I, I want to move. Like, hopefully my sister going to be on the same page within that year. Because she want to move within the year as well. But it's like, we both want to, like, do our big one as far as, like, our careers and stuff like that because that's the only way we big to move right so yeah that's what our plan and i'm sticking to it for sure i cannot wait because to cleveland is just it's not funny it's just not funny no more like but yeah cleveland is honestly is just this city ain't for me and I'm tired of dealing with people and their attitudes and stuff like that and dealing with all that. I dealt with that my whole life. I don't have time dealing with it. So it's like, I just got to get away from that and live my best life like how I'm supposed to and not let no negative spirits, evil people get in the way of that. Like, I'm, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's the plan. I'm going to living in this apartment, though, for only like a year. It is a nice apartment or whatever, but... It's nice in once in Houston. Okay, because that's where I want to go, to Houston. But, 
yeah um, I'm gonna be real successful and this is me manifesting I will be very very successful I'll be making way more money than I'm making right now and I'm, I'm just excited I'm very excited because for some reason I just know this is about to be my year I know it is no matter who get no matter like the, if, if it's negative energy or my, around me or what I'm going to make it so this is my year whether you like it or not it's my year and yeah I, th I just think that it's time that I live life for me and I live life for other people and being around people all the time 24 7 just get away from me the evil people's negative spirits and all that miserableness I don't have time for that so yeah I'm ready to move within that year we moving okay we moving on up moving on up to the east side south side but anyways yeah that's just a little rant y'all um but yeah in this new apartment i'm about to be doing a whole lot of content just stay tuned y'all just stay tuned like i really used to play, play with my potential i'm not doing that no more and i tell y'all i'm about to be working my butt off to where it's like i want to get tired and be overwhelmed that's how booked like booked up as far as collaborations that's how busy I want to be when it comes to this stuff because YouTube is not the only thing that I want to do I want to do other stuff so you got to get going you feel me this money got to get running and yeah that's that um I'm about to finish up packing though I just wanted to talk to y'all about that because yeah I, I just I can't live here for the rest of my life I see so much more that can happen for me and it's not gonna happen if I'm staying in this city I gotta go and especially when I hear it from other people that's not that's not even family that they be telling me this like why do you live here? People a lot of people don't even think I live here. But yeah, they be like, girl, why do you live here? Like leave. I could see I see you in like LA, Miami, Atlanta, where you know where the network at. And it's like I know. And it's just like when they told me this, it just was like wow, the fact that you see this potential in me and my own people don't even say this to me. It's crazy, but it's like I hear it all the time though from like strangers or people who I'm cool with and stuff like that. I hear it all the time, and it's like you know what? You're right. I do need to move, huh? Yeah, it was like you get model. You should not be in no damn clean when you're still young. You don't have no kids. Yeah, I'm definitely tired of living my life for other people. I'm tired of allowing negati negativity without me doing nothing. I'm tired of all of that. Like, I'm just, I'm not tolerating it no more. I'm a grown, grown adult, and I will want to be treated as such because if I'm not treated like, not like I'm an adult, I'm not going to treat that person like they're an adult. So, then that's just how the way it's going to be. So, yeah. And, yeah, and I'm going to ride and take those ones to the top that roll with me, the few that roll with me to, you know what I'm saying? Because it's only a little bit people like literally that ain't barely nobody but yeah only an inchy bit of people who did believe in me and stuff like that even though it's been struggles and stuff and no matter what they still believe in me you know what I'm saying because it's like it's crazy how you could struggle and somebody don't see that potential that you really do have they start to doubt they start to doubt you and stuff I feel like you got to be at your lowest to get to the top and y'all, this is just, I'm not saying that this is like currently going on. I'm just saying this is in general. Like, I've definitely been at my lowest a lot of times. And it's like, the people who you think that would be real close to you and support you, they don't support you. They just to down you and stuff like that. Those are not the people you want to take to the top with you. And that's for a fact. Especially if you've been there for them and helped them with a lot of shit. And I don't be really helping you or nothing. Baby, those are not the ones you take to the top with you. Period. But yeah, me and my sisters, and my younger sister better come with me, with us too, because period, she better, she doing her big one with braids, and yeah, I'm pretty sure she gonna start making a whole bunch of money by the end of the year, so, because she be booked and busy, okay, and I'm about to book too, period. But yeah, um, we all just doing our big one, it's just, I feel like it just takes time though, like, to really be at the top and start making a lot, a lot of money. And stuff like that and just to be real successful i think it just really do take time and you got to keep going and never quit i never quit with this youtube stuff like, i never quit when it comes to youtube 
because it's something that I generally like doing and because I know that you're not supposed to quit because if you quit you know you will never know if you will make it or not and I feel like everybody make it it's just you have to be patient if you quit you're not going to make it you're not going to even be able to see if you make it or not but me I know I'm going I'm, I know for a fact I'm going to make it okay and I can't wait and but yeah this is my year it's going to be so much more like content this year that I never even did before new stuff coming on new stuff is coming same old stuff is coming as well but just a lot more videos i'm going to be so consistent this year i am not playing no more no more because i know what i i know i have a goal to achieve i know that i don't want to live here no more i know that i want to go to another city i know that i want to you know what i'm saying so it's just time i do my big one and show motherfuckers that you can do it you can do it and show motherfuckers that It will happen okay but anyways enough of that right and i just really wanted to get that out because if ain't nobody gonna believe in me i'm gonna believe in myself and the only time they're gonna believe in you when they see it actually happen but it's like no nah, you ain't believe me back then baby don't try to be all up on me now because i already know i already know who i you know what i'm saying so yeah um, one box down, a lot of boxes to go. I'm about to pick up these dirty clothes, uh, which is right there. It's not gonna be a lot. So I'm about to pick that up and put it in the box. And then, um, I'm not gonna show y'all me doing that because it literally is nothing. It's not even that much. But when I go in that living room and pack up them shoes, I'm gonna show y'all. How much boxes y'all think that I'm gonna use? I showed y'all everything. How many boxes do y'all think that? I'm going to use up. This is one so far. I'm about to use another one for dirty clothes. And I don't think that that little shit is not going to take up the whole box. So I'm going to use um, probably like another bag in there. Because I got all dirty clothes in there as well. So yeah, I'm probably, y'all, okay. So remember I had said this. I'm going to use a total of six out of ten boxes. Six? Five more boxes? Yeah. Six out of ten. Mark my words. Not mark my words, but remember what I said. But what do y'all think before I even get all of this started? Comment down below how many boxes y'all think I'm gonna use. Or if y'all just figured it out in y'all head. Type down what y'all what y'all think. But anyway, yeah, somebody picked up box. So y'all gonna see me when I'm in the living room. I really gotta figure out like who gonna help me with this. I gotta ask somebody. I don't know who. I don't know who that ain't somebody. But yeah. Ooh, so these are all the dishes. Honestly, I'm not. I think what I'm gonna do is just. Oh, I barely breathe. But yeah, I think what I'm gonna do. Well, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to throw all this out because I don't want these dishes no more. I want to just renew on everything. Like, I'm going to buy new dishes, so I'm going to just throw all of that away. Now, this stuff, honey, a, a bitch ain't got snacks. So, I mean, I said snacks. Bitch ain't got stamps. So, we are going to save whatever whatever I want. I'm going to save that, period. Don't know if I want this. But as far as, like, the seasonings and stuff like that, y'all know I love pasta. This is full, having you stay at. So I'm definitely keeping that semi full. So I'm definitely get that. Definitely keep all of my seasonings and stuff like that. That can go in the garbage. Um, cornmeal and grits, keeping that. Um, this is my, um, what's this called? Shampoo. But yeah. Keep it, um, this stuff but this corn garbage okay period and then here's some little trash not that much trash but yeah
washed out. But um, still got that to pack up and those bags of clothes. Honestly, y'all, I feel so lazy. What I really want to do is just put the bag inside the box. Honestly. And that's probably what I'm going to do. Hmm. And then y'all know I'm, I work with Dossier. So I got like a lot of boxes of perfume. I don't know what I'm going to do with those. I'm probably just going to... I'm thinking about should just leave them in the boxes that they already are in. I think I'm going to just do that. Because I was thinking about taking them out the box. And just put them all in the box. No, I'm not going to do that. It's doing too much. So, yeah, I'm about to pack up all that stuff too. And that's, that's my shoes and coats. So, one box is going to be my coats. One box is going to be my shoes. So. Ooh, it's used that sound. Y'all, this was a workout. Yeah, I'm not even done yet. Like? I'm putting them bags, y'all. Dead serious. Them bags that's in that corner. I'm gonna just pick the bag up and put it inside of the box. Like, I am not even about to play. Like, why not? Because what's really the difference? What's gonna be the difference? So like, only reason why I put them things in there without, you know, no bag, because it didn't have a bag. So, yeah. And my dirty clothes, I didn't even fold those. I just put them straight in the box. And then my clean ones, I folded them. Why? I don't know, I just did. But really, you don't have to fold your clothes if it's going in the box. And honestly, y'all, look at that. This is the edge control. I hate how that look. It's just white. But anyways, what was I about to say? Oh, yeah. I'm not even really big on, like, folding clothes and stuff like that. I'm not. I really don't care for that. I don't like folding. I really don't, man. I feel like once you fold your clothes and put them in your drawer, they become unfolded. So it's like, what's the point of folding in the first place? That's how I look at it. That's how I look at it. It's just like it's a waste of time. And that's just something that people do when they bored or something like that. I don't know because I'm not folding these all these clothes, taking all taking up all that time just for it to be unfolded when I'm rambling through the clothes looking for something and then the other clothes become unfolded. Don't y'all agree? I don't know. But yeah, I need a break. Really, I'm not about to take no break. I need to just get this up done and over with. One thing I do need though is some um, tape. Because I got to take the bottom and the top of the boxes. So I'm going to go downstairs and get me some tape. But I'm probably going to do all of that off the camera. I'm going to probably get back with y'all when like everything is packed. Yeah. Probably show y'all me throwing the dishes. But I don't know. I don't even know if I should like throw the dishes away right now. Because I'm not moving out today. 
And what if I get hungry and then it's like I don't got no bowls or no utensils to eat? I don't know. So those dishes probably gonna get thrown out the day I move, which is very soon. So um, yeah, at least I got everything else packed up, like the bathroom, um, the closets, everything is just packed out. Everything is literally done and over with. Bathroom is also packed out, like packed out, packed out, packed out, packed out. It is a few things on the um sink, but that's just little shit. Okay. Um, I'm gonna take this down as well. Yeah, everything is gone out here. It didn't. Yeah, my room, I feel like it's the most stuff that I got to get out. Like this bed. I got to find somebody to get this out for me. I don't know who. But, yeah, besides that, like everything is packed out. So, your girl is definitely, definitely did her big one. Period. But, yeah, everything is ready to go, girl. Everything is ready to go, okay? But, yeah. Um, yeah. I'm about to finish up packing the rest of that packing, which is gonna take me like one minute. Your girl is finally done packing. Finally done. Wow. I'm taking this with me. Because I think I still wanna do my room. This type of color, black, gray, and white. So yeah. All I gotta do now is throw those dishes away and yeah. And that's it, your girl is all ready to go. Like, period, period. Oh, I hate this. I hate it. Like, what? It's like seven or something like that. like seven or eight no it's like 10 i'm tripping it's like 10 and i'm just not eating mind y'all i have not ate all day and i'm eating some wings i got spicy chicken nuggets and some chicken cheese fries and i could have sworn out here said baconator but whatever and then i got some um, honey mustard sauce i don't know why but and this honey mustard sauce tastes weird. Like ink or some shit in it. I don't know. Why do it taste like that? And it's strong. That's scaring me. I don't know why I'm eating more of that. I don't know. I'm cool with that. Mm -mm. They didn't give me no fork. So now I gotta keep with my hands. And These fries taste old as fuck, y'all. I'm irritated. Fifteen dollars for this shit, just for the process. It's a little old. Mm. I'm hungry, spoke though, so I don't even care. Yeah, these fries definitely taste old. I'm 
I'm hungry. I do not eat all day. I was nothing but I gotta eat some of this sauce. I, I can't eat these nuggets plain. But yeah. I will show y'all me. I will show y'all getting my bed and stuff like that put down, but I need to get this video out ASAP, so it's probably gonna be it. I feel like I showed, I uh, filmed enough anyway. I'm gonna get some plenty. Cause I know I didn't even ask for this. I hate that Wendy's, like they really, uh, they be letting all them teenagers work there. That'd be their problem. They just, mmm. Maybe that don't do anything. Mm. I know all that, but baby, when you hungry, anything is good. You can even tell the nugget. Oh, like this stuff is not fresh at all. If I was there, this shit would have got taken right back. Maybe I would have to make my shit from scratch the foot. And that's the only thing I like about door dashing. But. about the movie so uh, oh so the apartment that I'm moving into so it's basically like the one that I filmed in my other vlog if y'all did not watch my last vlog go watch that because I did a um, apartment tour of one of the Places I was looking at, so it basically looked like that one, but different color cabinets, and I think the flooring is different too. And I will be having this time, I will be having a roommate, y'all, by the way, but. It is in my name. I I got approved. So just to let y'all know. But yeah. And when I tell y'all, that apartment comes with a lot of amenities. Like, woo, they come with a pool, a spa, a nail salon, a store. They got a nice lounge place. They got an area to throw parties at. They got a gym. Uh, upstairs and downstairs gym by the way I believe it's upstairs and downstairs but yeah mm -hmm. so yeah I'm very excited but I definitely want to move like out of this state 
steady by the end of the year or at least a few months after that like i really want to leave and that's my goal like because i do believe that by the end of the year or a few months after that i will be big as far as like successful so yeah after that i'm leaving baby i am leaving the city there's nothing here for me but while i'm here i'm gonna enjoy it i'm gonna work my my butt off and we gonna get things cracking for real but yeah i need to be washing my face um what else i need to be doing my nails dirty yeah, I'm gonna be washing my face. I have to use it very bad. That food was mid. I'm not ordering that no more. No more. Like, I'm not ordering from Wendy's no more because these little restaurants, no, they be, it's like a win or lose when it comes to this stuff because it's like sometimes when I get my food delivered to me, it be good. It's fucking fresh. And sometimes they don't even give me what I asked for or it just be old like it don't be fresh one one of them and i hate that so it's like that's not my money's worth am i the only person that like if i'm not like completely thirsty i take sips with my juice like i don't i know when some people even when they're not thirsty they really be taking like nice size gulps out of their drink but with me if i'm not thirsty i'm not I'm literally taking little ass sips. That's why I never can finish my juice or pop or water. Like, cause I'll take sips with stuff. But anyway, I'm gonna off track. Anyway, y'all, I'm basically done packing. I believe this is it with that video, honestly. I was gonna show me, but who cares about me throwing away dishes? Like, don't nobody care about that. But that's the only thing I gotta do. I'm gonna have. A friend of mine come and take this bed apart and stuff like that when it's time and take that dresser apart I'm not gonna show that only because I am ready to post this video because like I'm trying to be on a consistent train so I feel like what I did today was enough anyways honestly I feel like and plus like two days ago I did my closet I showed y'all me doing the closet and the bathroom so it's like just enough for as far as packing yeah that's literally what i showed y'all i was packing so the bed and checking out down the bed really doesn't really even matter so i hope y'all enjoyed this video i love y'all make sure y'all like comment and subscribe bro this here make me extra high, okay make sure y'all like comment and subscribe and Follow me on my social media, which is Instagram, Save Quality. All of that will be in the description box below. Make sure y'all uh, turn on y'all bell so y'all can be notified every time I post, okay? Ooh.